Hey guys, welcome back to the 17th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at trying to pull data out of the standard Django user model and pass that through to one of our HTML templates using a view. So in this case, I'm just going to create a new URL. So if we look at the site that we already have, if we just go to localhost, I've got my development server running, I'm going to define a new URL called forward slash account forward slash profile and at the moment that's not defined in our URLs so I'm gonna add that so I'm gonna say I'm gonna add that comment comma on the end I always forget that comma and I'm going to say I'm gonna define another regular expression which is just going to start with uh, the little carrot which means start and regular expressions profile and then forward slash dollar sign end and I'm gonna say it's going to go through to my views which we're going to define in a minute called uh, so my views.profile which is a function based view that we're going to define inside the views.py and I'm just going to give this a name and I'm going to call it which we're not using right now uh, but it's just good to put names there I'll explain why in a future video and I'm just going to call that uh, profile so what this page is basically going to do is show the user's information and so that the user knows, you know, if they've spelled their email address correctly, the, you know, what they've put in is their name and that sort of thing. They won't be able to edit it just yet because that might be like a different page. We'll have to write another Django form for that. But this is just going to present that data on the page. So I'm going to go to my views. So now that I've got that profile URL, I'm going to go to my views and we need to import something else. So the data that we're going to be using is stored in the user model. So from Django.contrib dot auth dot models import user now I'm going to define that function based view so I'm going to say def profile the name of that view and then I'm going to say request which is uh, something that is taken by all function based views in Django and I'm going to say I'm just going to define that dictionary that I'm going to pass through to that view so I'm, I'm just going to say the arguments I want to pass through are and then the key is what I refer to in the template and then the value is the actual data that I want to pass. So in this case I'm just going to say user and it's going to equal request.user. This request variable actually stores or has access to a lot of data about the particular user that's logged in. So one of those things is the user object itself and we could even do something like .pk to pass through just the primary key if we wanted to do that. But since I want to pass in the whole user object, I'm going to do that and then I can use that object to then pick out certain elements uh, in the template rather than in the view. And then after that I'm just going to render the template. So I'm going to say return render, so using this render method that we imported from Django shortcuts, and it's going to take request and it's also going to take the name of the template, so that's going to be accounts forward slash profile dot html so I haven't created that yet but I'm going to and then I'm just going to pass in that dictionary as that final parameter so now I'm going to go to the templates accounts and I'm going to create a new uh, file and I'm going to call that profile dot html and I think just to start off, I'm going to copy this first bit of the home.html. So that's just going to extend the base.html template and then uh, give me a title and the header. So we don't really need the header in fact. So I'm going to put that in the body. Uh, I'm going to say this is a profile and then I'm also going to add the block tags for the body. So I'm going to say block body and then I'm going to end the block as well, so you, you always have to end the block in HTML and end block and then inside here is where we're going to refer to all that data so I now have access to all the data that's within that user model so just to show you what the user object is I'm just going to say that for now just to check everything that we've done so far works so the development server doesn't look like it has any issues at the moment so what I'm going to do is go back to the page that we tried to load before and refresh so now we can see that it gives us the username from the user model and the reason it does this rather than just say just saying a Django user object is that 
in that model definition for the user, it has specified that it's going to give us the first name if it's available. Uh, or in fact, I think this is the username that's available available because I put Max as the username. So it's pulling out that data and just presenting that instead of the object. But if we want to present various parts of the data, we can say user dot and then whatever attribute we happen to want out of that model. So let's do a few examples. So I'm going to say, uh, let's write a paragraph. So p tags, and then we can just put everything inside that paragraph. And in fact, because it's off the site, I want to fix that. So I'm going to add a container. So that that just align it with the center of uh, of this nav bar, well, the side of this nav bar, really. And so I'm going to do that instead. And I'm going to put all the data inside inside this paragraph. So what I'm going to do, just to show another example, is user dot first name. So go back to the web browser refresh and now we've got the first name. So th this remember was the username. I know it's a little bit ambiguous because I put Max in both of them but Max lowercase here is the username and we can see that if we go to the admin in fact. So if we, go, if we do localhost uh, admin so we go to the users model and then we can see Max. So this is the user that we're referring to. Pull the data out. And that's because Max is the logged in user. So if you wanted to do it with a different user, then this information would dynamically change based on the logged in user. So we can also do, let's just print out the other, other information just to make sure it is like a proper profile page. And we can say last name and we can say user.email and really that's all the information we have because it's not like we can print out the uh, password as well because there's no point in showing that in plain text on the screen. So now that I have finished formatting the HTML for this profile page, that's really all I need to do to be able to show the data from the default user model on the profile page. Now in the next one, we're going to look at how to write a Django form to be able to edit a specific user's personal information.